What you see here is my attempt to make my Android phone look like Windows Phone 8 or the uh, Metro style um, interface. And uh, the first thing you'd want to do if you're trying to make your phone look like Windows 7 is to download Launcher 7 and that'll give you the tiles and you'll swipe left and you'll get a list of uh, apps. But I found that uh, really limiting and I wanted sort of the functionality of my normal uh, launcher but still the Metro look. So this was uh, pretty easy to do and I'll show you how I did it. The first thing you need is you need Launcher Pro or ADW Launcher for uh, a replacement uh, of your home screen. The reason is, is that I'm guessing your home screen doesn't have the number of rows and columns to get the squares to line up perfectly. So you see here the uh, gaps between the top and bottom and left and right are pretty much equal and uh, I needed an alternate launcher to do that. You may not if you have a different aspect ratio. Um, I decided to go with Launcher Pro on this one because my phone is an Optimus V so it is really underpowered and ADW Launcher made it lag a lot so I use Launcher Pro. Uh, it's a, it doesn't have as much functions but it worked for me. Um, the next thing you'll need is Desktop Visualizer and that lets you take a picture and then tag it with um, a function. So I have this market icon is really just a picture and I have it linked to my uh, Google Play App Store and uh, that again is desktop visualizer and I'll show you how that works um, here we'll just delete this and put this back in um, when you do it, click on widgets you'll have a bunch of different uh, size options for desktop visualizer and if you don't want to pay you won't be able to resize the widget after putting it on the home page. If you do pay and buy the full version, you can resize it at any time. So I'm going to click 2x2, two two, and it will come up with this, and it lets you select an icon and then select an action, and it links that action to the icon when you press it. So for all my icons, I just went on uh, Google Images, and I found screenshots of Windows phones and stuff, and then I cropped out the individual tiles. So I have all these individual tiles that I essentially just cropped from, uh, from Google Images. So I'm going to click on my email tile and when selecting my action I'm just going to choose the corresponding app. So that would be mail. Uh, you want to clear the label because you don't want, uh, you want the tile already has the name mail or the icon on it. You don't want a name underneath and uh, I choose transparent, there's no real label, I just do that um, because you can choose the uh, color of the uh, icon when you press it and you can choose to make it vibrate or not. So there you go, it then appears on the home page and then when you click it, it goes to the app. Another cool thing is you're able to um, you're able to link a lot of different stuff that's not necessarily an app. So here I have pictures and they link to uh, the text messaging. Yeah, I won't go into those messages. But it links to a direct uh, dial or a direct uh, message. And then over here uh, I have these linked to my uh, folders. So they don't go directly to an app, they just go to my game folder. Um, that's about it. The next thing I did was I found um, different widgets that seemed to fit the square theme. So this is block clock, um, this is block battery, and then uh, this is power widget light. There's one setting that makes it nice and square. Uh, another thing you may want to do to make it look more like Windows 7 is get rid of the notification bar. Uh, you can do that on Launcher Pro, but you won't be able to pull it down. You'll need an app like Hello Status Bar to click, and then it'll automatically come down. Or if you use ADW Launcher, you can have it not visible, but still be able to be pulled down. I didn't do that because when I got rid of the notification bar, first of all, I, I liked having the notification bar, and second, it got rid of the uh, ratio and it made the gaps between my uh, blocks not equal. They were a little bit... Uh, bigger top to bottom is left to right. So if you have a different phone you may be able to get it to look clean. 
Uh, another thing is, is with uh, Launcher Pro, you're able to make the dock bl blank, but you're not able to completely get rid of it. So to compensate, I sort of added Windows Phone looking icons down here. Instead of on a Windows Phone, you've got an arrow and you swipe to get to the apps. Uh, swipe left, I've got the arrow and I swipe up to get to the apps. With Launcher Pro, you're able to set swipe functions. You just hit press and you're able to change a uh, shortcut or um, swipe gesture. Uh, I also changed the icons as you can see. Um, the uh, Over here I just have settings, over here I have search. Again I looked around Google and took a screenshot of a Windows phone that had that icon and then uh, just placed it in there as a custom icon. So that is my attempt to make my Android look like a Windows phone. It's very easy, but it does take a little bit. You have to add each uh, tile individually. But I think in the end, it gives a nice, crisp uh, interface. It looks a lot more like uh, Windows 8 than Windows 7 because you're able to make smaller tiles as well. You're not able to do that with Launcher 7. Um, and I also like the horizontal uh, scrolling as opposed to the vertical scrolling that you get in real windows. So, I like this. It's sort of a mix of Metro with the functionality of Android, and uh, you can do it too.